Let's face it, we all love cycling, but it can be super expensive. Damn! An easy way to get your hands on your favorite brands and models without breaking the bank is buying a used bike. However, this can be also very daunting and risky. Which is why in today's video, we are going to go through the top do's and don'ts when looking to buy a used bike. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe for more bike videos and without further ado, let's get into it. First up, do know what you want. Check your size, choose your type depending on your riding style, so gravel, pure road, endurance, etc. And then research brands and models until you find three or four that suit you and your needs. This helps you narrow down your search and navigate through all the jungle of offers out there. If you're looking online, do use a dedicated service, ideally one with buyer protection, seller reviews, and other features that prevent scams or frauds. But if you're on other sites that does not have buyer protection, don't ever send the money without having seen the bike. This can only make you end up in a situation where you lose your money and the idea of your dream bike. Do know your timing when buying a bike. If you're looking for a high quality performance bike, fall is the best time of the year for you. As companies roll out next year's models and more cyclists are looking to part ways with their older ride. The demand for cycling is also much lower in fall and winter, so the off season, and here you will most likely find the best deals. However, the selection may be limited. If you found one you like, then don't buy it on the spot. Research the competition and check the prices of similar used bikes from that year, brand or setup to verify that the seller is demanding a fair price. It is possible that you might find a deal and model you like, but someone else might have upgraded some of the components and offer the bike for the same price. If possible, do arrange a meeting for a test ride. Pay attention to any strange noises or sensations and ask the seller about the bike's history, including any repairs or maintenance that may have been done. If not possible, then make sure to use the platform's chat function to ask as many necessary questions. Now, most importantly, when looking at pictures online or ideally standing in front of the bike, do check its condition thoroughly and pay close attention to the seller's description. Start with a general check of the frame. Scuffs on the rear derailleur, handlebar tape, hoods, and saddle are typical indicators that the bike was involved in some sort of crash. Ask the seller what happened and if anything was replaced or repaired. Start at the fork and make your way to the back. Look closely at areas that are under the most stress, so under the bottom bracket, around the seat post clamp, around the frame joints, and around the dropouts. Small chips and scrapes in the paint are usually okay, but watch out for any major cracks, dents, rust spots or other damages that could affect the bike's structural integrity and performance. It's always good to bring a set of Allen keys with. In this case, you can try to adjust the saddle and make sure it is not seized, for example. Any visual way to handlebar tape, tires, components, etc. can be used to further negotiate the price as you would eventually need to replace them. While on the frame, quickly check the wear of the headset bearings. You can do this by holding down on the front brake and then moving the bike forward and backward. If you notice any significant movement and play in the steerer, this is usually a sign that you'll need to replace the bearings. Here, another negotiation factor. Next up, you can check the drivetrain for wear and the shifting. Obviously, if the chain is completely rusted, then it will need to be replaced. However, to check if the chain is worn, you could bring a chain wear tool with, which is not very expensive and easy to use. Flat spots and jagged teeth on the cassette are also signs of wear and will cause skipping of the chain when pedaling. This can all be replaced, but just another thing to take into consideration when negotiating the price. Shift through all the gears and make sure everything is running smoothly. If it is not, it could just mean that they need to be indexed. However, here you can quickly check if it might not be caused by a bent derailleur hanger. Lastly, check the bearings in the bottom bracket for wear. You can do this by firmly holding onto a crank arm and then pushing and pulling it toward and away from you. If you feel any play, then this can be a sign of wear. It can be replaced, but you know the deal. Moving on to the wheels and brakes. Give them a spin and check for any wobbling or unevenness. If there is a wobble, this means the wheel will need to be trued, which is not super expensive, but negotiation. Check for broken or missing spokes and make sure the rims are not damaged. Rim brakes can cause the surface of the rim to become concave. Run your finger along the rim and check. If it is concave, braking performance will not be great and you might need to replace the wheel. Check the wheel bearings by holding onto the wheel firmly and moving it back and forth. Significant play means the bearings are worn. Then make sure the brakes are working properly, don't squeak or feel too loose or tight. Check the brake pads and make sure that they are not too worn out and for disc brakes that they are not rubbing. You will hear this if it's the case. Finally, after getting your used bike, do take it to a local bike shop for a thorough tune-up. 
Depending on just how used the bike is, you might want to grab some new tires and or bar tape to help make the old bike feel like new. A tune-up should cost more or less 200 euros. If you buy a used bike online at Bicycle, you can select one of our check services to make sure your bike is ready to ride and feels like new when you receive it. Well, there you have it. Those are the most important do's and don'ts of buying a used bike. Go ahead and check out the Bicycle website while you're here to browse through the thousands of high quality used bikes and enjoy our buyer's protection, checkup services and easy shipping. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.